Next week, Hannibal the Cannibal's screen debut in Michael Mann's Manhunter. Big-time drug dealers, you know? Dangerous. Real dangerous. We had uh, 161 murders last year. Don't waste my time, don't waste your time. You want me to help you, you help me. Down Amongst the Drug Gangs, screenplay, Murder in Oakland, Wednesday, 9 o'clock on 2. And now on to Richie Benno presents highlights of today's play in the fourth test at Edgbiston. Well, following the early conclusion to the test, there are some changes to tomorrow afternoon's programmes on two. And at four o'clock, we've got alternative sporting action with highlights of today's finals in the Federation Cup tennis at Nottingham. That begins at four here on two. Children playing at being soldiers, a silly memo from 1936. But these simple pastimes will take on a new and sinister aspect as 1939 approaches and the games are being played for real. Right now in America, there's a neo-Nazi who's making millions. The FBI has labeled the Turner Diaries as a manual of hatred. Liberals in the news media likewise have condemned it and called it the Bible of right-wing extremists. The Turner Diaries is probably the most controversial book in America. If the government had the power to ban books, the Turner Diaries would be at the top of the list. Distant drums and different drummers, Monday on 2. Tomorrow's Prom is a varied and adventurous program of music by Webern, Mahler, H.K. Gruber, York Hurler and Schnitke. Seats are still available at the Royal Albert Hall if you're within reach of it and of course the whole program is broadcast live in stereo on Radio 3 beginning at 7.30. Well, nighttime offerings on BBC Radio are at the moment in the hands of John Peel on Radio 1 while on Radio 2, after one o'clock, Colin Berry will be at the controls of his night ride, steering a steady course through till three o'clock. Here on 2 now, that's all for this evening. And once again, this is Andy Cartledge wishing you, wherever you may be, a very good night. <laughs>